All right, all right, all right. It is a great day in South Florida, and this video is going to be everything you need to know or must know about living in Central Boca Raton. Now, full disclosure, it would be impossible for me to um, get everything that exists in Central Boca Raton. Um, so I am going to stick to uh, the community is off of um, Jog Road, and um, right now I am over by, well, this is the Boca Village, which is some of the shops and restaurants that exist um, right next to the, uh, the Town Center Mall, and so there's a Duffy Sports Grill, there's all kinds of stuff over here, plenty of stuff, very high-end exclusive shopping that exists in the... Um, in the Boca Town Center, and I have been uh, chastised by some of you out there for using the term uh, exists too often, so I'm going to uh, do my best to say it more often, because it's my new favorite word. Uh, shout out to Urban BDK, BDKNY, um, my boy Billy. All right, so... Billy, I know you're going to like this content because this is the area that you love, but um, everybody else out there, I hope you love it too because this is a great place to live. And uh, although I have done uh, content out here before or in here, but in, out, all around, wherever, wherever, I'm going to put sunglasses on because it is bright. Uh, but I've done this video tour before. I just haven't done it with the 360 cam. So I suspect this is going to be more immersive content to help showcase and highlight what it's like to live in Boca Raton. And you can see to our right, we're coming up on Diamonds Direct. So if you're looking to uh, buy some Diamonds Direct, <laughs> you certainly can. And then behind that, you've got the, uh, you've got the Town Center Mall, right? And we are uh, going to, so stick around till the end. And the reason for that is not to uh, keep you uh, sucked in to watch content that's valueless, but it's because I'm going to highlight and showcase a new listing that will hit the market here with me um, in the next week or so. It is currently available off market. So if uh, you are interested in this particular property, then please reach out immediately and uh, you can beat the frenzied competition that will certainly exist when I put it on the market. And all right, so we are in Central Boca right now. We are on St. Andrews Boulevard. What did I call it before? Um, well, it doesn't matter what I called it before, it's St. Andrews. And uh, we're going to cross over Glades. All of this will be um, hopefully uh, obvious, assuming that my GPS tracking system is working, but I'm committed to creating the most immersive experience and content for you so that if you are shopping in the area and you're not familiar with the area, I can reduce your um, discovery or due diligence. It takes a long time to, uh, to tour these areas. So if you know where you want to be prior to actually arriving, that really, um, is a force multiplier and a time saver. So I'm just going to point out things as we drive and there are great communities. This area of central Boca is extremely hot, extremely competitive. You got Santa Barbara to our left. Everything in this community is very nice. It's very close to the beach. It's very close to downtown um, uh, Boca Meisner uh, Park, the beach itself, and um, not too far from uh, you know downtown Del Rey, Atlantic Avenue, Pinecrest School, amazing school. Um, I believe uh, Baron Trump. Uh, New Floresta, very, very, very hot. Shout out to my clients out there, uh, Courtney um, and Dave. I know you're looking in these areas. So you've got uh, New Floresta, you've got Timber Creek. Timber Creek's tender, tender, tender Creek, not to be confused with Tinder Creep, which is a totally different video. Um, we're crossing over Potomac. And all of these, what, Strathmore to our left, very, very nice community. So these are really great family communities. They are older, 
most of the homes that exist, bang, exist, shout out to Billy, um, they have been updated, they've been improved, they are older homes, but they, uh, m many of them have been, I'm gonna turn into Mill Pond because this is one of my favorite places that you could ever want to live. Super, super um, scenic, as you can tell. Look at this tree-lined street. Very pretty, very private. It's not gated. It doesn't, not that it doesn't need to be, but it feels like it is. It's very secure. It is policed. It is safe. <clears throat> One of the big draws of this community, you can see all the tree-lined uh, walking paths. Um, they have a really nice park and uh, lake and bridges and mature trees, the tree-lined streets. It's a really nice place to live. And homes in here that go for sale, which get listed or on the market, whatever that is, the competition in here is just uh, insane. So, uh, but a very friendly, welcoming community. What you might feel as you're checking this area out is some of these homes, to me at least, it reminds me a lot of up north, right? Um, it is a real community, but if you look at some of these homes, they're older, they, um, they have a different architectural style than you'll see in some of the newer communities. So like this house over here is, um, is unusual um, for South Florida. It feels like a, uh, a home that you might find up north. Um, but a lot of these homes are on the lake. You can see this house here, a brick house. I mean, it's rare that you see um, a brick house, right? Like this is not typical of uh, South Florida inventory or, or homes that exist. I used exist again. But what you'll find is um, a lot of the, so again, it's ter in terms of uh, competition, right? There's not a lot of homes for sale in here. When they go on sale, they sell very quickly. If there was to be an older home, because there's a lot of people who are original owners in here or who have been here for a really long time. Look at this house. I mean, this, I think, I can't tell a thousand percent, but I'll know in a minute. Yeah, so like they did an, an addition to that house to make it a lot bigger, but look at this park. So if you live in this community, um, you know, it is one o'clock on, what day is it? Wednesday. In the middle of the day, there's not gonna be a lot of people out here playing, right? Um, on the weekends or when it's not so hot, um, that is gonna be just swarmed with, uh, with kids and families and um, people going out there and maxing out South Florida living to its fullest. This, you see this lady biking, hi. Um, it is a very nice place to live and you're right in the heart of Boca Raton. There's an exit, I'm not gonna take it because again, I'm working my way to Broken Sound and I'm working my way to uh, the Banyans, uh, which is a lot of times realtors, and again, there's 90,000 agents in Broward and Palm Beach County. Um, unfortunately, not all of them are full-time, full-service real estate professionals. And I, I bring that up not to knock them, but um, a lot of times they will label communities or subdivisions uh, inaccurately or inconsistently. So it's not uncommon to find or not find homes that are available. And I, I point that out because the Banyans could be labeled as Banyans. It could be uh, Banyans at Broken Sound. It could be Banyans at Arvida. It could be, it could be mislabeled any number of ways. And so if you're, uh, if you're selling your property and you are looking to get maximum exposure to people who are searching in that community, if it's mislabeled, chances are it's not going to be found um, by the people who are shopping in that community. But but that's a different story for a different day. But look how pretty this this street is. The um, the canopy effect that you get from the um, from these mature trees. It's gorgeous. I love it in here. And you see the stone face on the um, exterior of that home. Really pretty. All right. 
So we're just doing a little tour of Mill Pond. But so what are the advantages of living here? Well, one, you're right in the, uh, in the heart of Boca Raton. And that gives you and affords you the opportunity to be, um, I mean, there are all kinds of parks over here. Uh, you've got Patch Reef Park, you've got, um, geez, brain fart. Um, there are so many different parks, so many different, um, I mean, they have in the community tennis courts and playgrounds and all that kind of stuff pool, etc. Most of these homes have their own pools, um, very private, have a lot of land relative to some of the newer communities. But look how pretty this neighborhood is. And you can see, I'm going to turn down here and get as much content as I can. But you can see these are older homes, right? Um, not uncommon for, um, for a, um, investor or a family or a buyer, whoever, to come in here, buy one of the older ones, knock it down, build a new one. That's possible. Um, it's also uh, possible that someone will come in here and they'll make um, improvements to it. They'll add on to the house. Um, but many of these homes are upgraded, improved, and they're they're gorgeous. You can see the uh, basketball hoops. So lots of kids, lots of families, lots of, lots of patriotism. My country is of the sweet land of liberty. If you're buying or selling, call Chris IGOE. Look at that house. Beautiful. All right. Um, so... I'm going to continue uh, driving through so you can see how pretty it is. Uh, but the feel and the flavor that you'll see in here is similar to many of the communities that line um, either side of the street. So uh, Floresta, New Floresta, Strathmore, um, any of them, they're very similar. Oh, what do we got there? A Florida State flag. Seminoles. Well, not a huge fan of them. I love Florida. I love Florida schools. But if uh, you're not a gator, you're gator bait. Let's go. All right. Um, but like this house, you can see that the landscaping isn't really up to par. It looks like it's empty. That may be in play. That may be for sale. I don't know. Um, well, I don't know as of <laughs> this video. It's not for sale yet, but just know, and you can see this one has been updated and improved. If you're looking in a specific community and there aren't homes for sale, but you are targeting that particular uh, subdivision or whatever it might be, then just know that every homeowner in Florida is thinking about selling. And so if I'm able to connect with them, and offer them a value proposition in that we have a buyer who's looking for a home similar to theirs, we are often able to unlock that inventory. <clears throat> and, that's, uh, and that's how we're able to do deals that are off market or find you what you want before it goes on to the MLS. Because once it goes on to the MLS, well, then you've got the rest of the market, right? So that's gonna be, um, now if you're a seller, that's you, you might not want that. You might want the market. You might, might want the uh, the frenzy. You might want the um, the competition. But a lot of these folks, is this a Rolls Royce? Wow. So you got a Rolls Royce, an older Rolls Royce, just chilling out front, not in the garage. Probably not a good choice. But you can see there are some older homes. There are some updated homes. There are some uh, new homes. And it's a great place to live, right? And the reason I'm going down each one of these streets is I want you to be able to see how nice the mature trees are and how pretty the neighborhood is, right? Okay. We're going to exit here because, as I said, and I wasn't kidding, um, we're really here to showcase Broken Sound, but more importantly, the Banyans at Broken Sound. Um, which to give you some context on the community of broke or the subdivision the club of broken that house is so sick um 
All right, we're gonna exit. So we did a little loop around the community and now we're going back to St. Andrews, which will then take us to where we wanna go, but hopefully got a good feel for what it's like in Mill Pond. And, um, and Mill Pond is a great place to live, as are all the communities that are around it too. Like there is no bad place here in, well, there's no bad place really anywhere in Boca, right? You may find older homes, you may find uh, more established neighborhoods because this is a not older community, but but Boca has been built out for a long time, right? So it is not uncommon to find older homes. Um, you've got Boca Madera, same thing, right? It's not now, in my opinion, it's not as nice as Mill Pond, but it is very nice. And so any of these homes in any of these neighborhoods are going to be highly sought after, highly desirable, Lakewood Oaks. <clears throat> I'm not gonna turn down all these streets or this will be a four hour video, but I share all of this because if you are doing these tours, if you are um, of the mindset that you're gonna be able to knock out all of this in like two hours, it's impossible, you can't. So that is why I'm so committed to creating the content for you so that you can save time and um, and hone in on what you actually do want. Yes, pal, I see you. Le Jardin, which unfortunately this truck is somewhat obscuring. Very nice. The Colonnade at Glen Oaks, very nice. Um, I believe both of those are gated and more secure. We're not gonna get into them, uh, but just know that the homes in there are super sweet and um, there is some variability in pricing as it relates to the, the different communities, but everything is expensive. This is where everyone wants to be. Um, it's a very affluent area. Spanish River Church is to our right. I love that church. I used to go there when I lived in Boca. Uh, very nice, very friendly, um, but there's a bunch of different churches for almost, or synagogues or whatever it is that you're looking for, mosques, uh, Greek Orthodox. It all exists very close, but I don't want to drive around forever. What I want to do is take you into Broken Sound. So we are going to enter, we're going to cross over Yamato. We're going to enter Broken Sound, Broken Sound proper. Um, and I don't know if that's the right way to describe it, but the main community of Broken Sound, um, we're not going to get into, right? And the reason for that is the seller that I'm representing, when he bought the home in the Banyans, it was not a mandatory membership golf community. After he purchased, it became that. So he doesn't have access to the facilities, so therefore when I go up there and pretend like I wanna get in, they're inevitably gonna tell me no, but I want you to at least see the uh, entrance and then I'll pop in some, uh, some additional video. But this is the main entrance to Broken Sound. And uh, this is a super exclusive, very beautiful place to live. The homes are luxurious. They have a lot of green space. There is um, tremendous uh, facilities that, and uh, amenities that exist. There is uh, two phenomenal golf courses um, that you will have access to, but this is a mandatory membership um, community, so you're going to pay uh, for that uh, privilege. Now let's see if I can pop my way in here. Let's see what story I'm gonna come up with to see if we can get in here. Hello, how's it going? Good, Good. Uh, my name is Chris Igo. I was hoping to go to the um, to the club to uh, get some membership information for a client who's um, interested in purchasing here. I don't have an appointment or anything like that. Okay, so it is private property, so okay. I won't be able to let you on. Um, you can call the Broken Sound and schedule an appointment with them. Okay. I appreciate that. I figured I'd try, but I, I kind of assumed that was the case. All right, just make a use for me. Okay? You got it. Thank you so much. Have a good day. So I knew that wasn't gonna work. I'm gonna make a U-turn, but what I do want you to see is how pretty this is. And I know you can't really glean too much from just the, you know, the entrance, but um, but it's really nice. And the golf club uh, and the um, 
the golf, not golf club, the golf courses that exist here are phenomenal. Um, but it's super exclusive. They do have different membership options. They do have different packages, but the base package, and I will pop the, um, what those fees and what those dues and what those memberships are so that you know what they are. Um, but the new buyer of the, of the home that I have for sale, um, will have access to all the things that we weren't able to go see. Now, had we uh, been allowed into the community, I could have then exited the community um, on the other side. I can't do that now because obviously I didn't get in, but that's kind of okay because it's going to allow, well, it's perfectly okay, but I wanted to also then, if I couldn't do that, then just showcase a little bit more of Central Boca so you get a, uh, an idea of what that looks like. And I'll point out uh, the parks, the, um, you know, everything that we see. So you get a feel for what it's like. Now, downtown Boca, um, which I used to work, you know, I, I was a stockbroker for 18 years. I worked right off of Glades Road in the corporate center for almost a decade. And um, that is really the the business uh, district that that is in Boca Raton, right? And so um, there's lots of um, business that happens. This is a very affluent community. It is not uncommon for uh, corporate executives to uh, fly into the Boca Airport, which is right there off of Glades, and um, you know, and uh, jet set to wherever they've got to go for business or personal or whatever that is. But this is a very affluent area. The price points in here are going to be in the several millions. Um, and if living a golf club lifestyle is what you want, then this definitely checks all the boxes. Now, as it relates to the home that I'm teasing a little bit here, um, you know, I'll just tell you the truth, right? So uh, golf club communities prior to the pandemic were not easy sells. There was not a tremendous amount of demand for them. So I would not be interested in taking a listing um, in a mandatory membership golf community because depending on the temperature of the market, those properties really don't sell because the uh, the buyers are, are, you know, they're few and far between. You must love golf. You must love that lifestyle. You must be affluent enough to be able to afford it, right? So again, this is a Spanish River Church. So it shrinks the buyer population that exists for the inventory. Well, with that, my buddy bought the house, they changed it from membership to non-membership, and immediately it cut the values in, you got St. David's Armenian Church, um, you've got a Benai Israel congregation, you've got St. Mark's, which I believe is a Greek Orthodox, yeah, it is Greek Orthodox, and they have a Greek fair there that's incredible. Um, we go to all the time or every year. Patch Reef Park is so much fun. Anything you could possibly want in a park is right there. And there are great parks. I don't know exactly what the number is of how many there are in Boca, but there are too many for me to remember. There are lots of parks, lots of opportunities for you to uh, go out there, enjoy nature, and, um, and live your best life. Alrighty, so we're gonna keep on trucking and then we've got, what is this? I don't know the name of that community there in spite of the fact I, <laughs> I, I have a friend who lives there and um, I don't know if that's a function of old age or early onset Alzheimer's or CTE or just, my brain is full, but all of the communities that exist in this area are, um, are beautiful, they're safe, they're right next to everything, they're very friendly, they're very welcoming, and all the schools in these areas are phenomenal. So in the Banyans that we're going to go see right now, which again, we're taking the long form, uh, we're, uh, we're making long form content because we can't cut through the community because I don't have access right now. Uh, but that's okay, because I get to show you a side of Central Boca that you might not have seen otherwise, all right? Um, the schools that are zoned for uh, the Banyans are going to be Calusa, Omni Middle, and Spanish River. All great Boca schools. All of them are, um, 
exactly where. I, so if I did not know the area and I was uh, buying a home myself, all of these communities would be on my list because they're just a great place to live. So proximity to the beach, you're close. Proximity to I-95 and or the Turnpike, uh, you're, you're close. So if you must commute to uh, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm, Miami, or wherever, it's not a major commute um, on, you know, uh, non-highway roads, right? So it's just a, a short trip to those major highways, which are going to make it easier for you to get to where you need to go. You got 10X, 10X Boca Raton apartment living. Um, I believe that's Grant Cardone's. <laughs> Shout out to 10X, but we're not doing a 10X today. We're doing it 100X because why not? We're drinking coffee. Um, but so you'll see San Marco, apartment community. You've got all kinds of shops, all kinds of um, things that make living here better. So some people will ask, especially if they're not familiar with um, the region or the area, you know, are there things to do? Is it is it a long drive to go, you know, shopping or you know, get my hair done or nails or whatever? No, Office Depot headquarters is right there. Um, there are many corporations that are here that set up shop here. Uh, the most notable and probably the longest um, standing is IBM. So IBM uh, in the, I wanna say 70s, set up their, um, their main campus uh, right here in Boca Raton, and it's massive. If we made a right down um, Clintmore, or excuse me, Yamato, excuse me, um, you would see their sprawling campus and facilities and all those things. Now, since then, I could be, I could be wrong, although I'm almost positive I'm not. Um, I don't know that they still have such a big presence. Um, they certainly did at one point, and, um, I think that may have uh, become reduced in capacity since then. Uh, I'm pretty sure they've sold some of those, uh, some of that land for other things, but again, don't hold me to it because um, I'm not positive. But IBM was one of the first uh, major corporations that really set up shop here in Boca. And since then, a lot of, a lot of corporations have. You got the uh, firehouse right there. You've got Meisner Quartz to my left. And uh, now we're trending into where I want to go. Hopefully we're not in a school zone. I see a car line starting to form and car lines are not my favorite thing in the world. But if you live in this community, then being close to the school is going to be a major thing, right? So that is the exit to Broken Sound. Calusa is right here. Uh, Calusa Elementary, right? So right here. Now, if we had access to passing through the community, we would we would have been spit out here. It would have reduced the time. You would have seen a lot more. Colony Point, very nice. But also, take notice. Like, look how pretty this street is. Um, when I worked um, in the corporate center and I was training for marathons and then triathlons, I would run these these blocks. And I will tell you that these tree-lined paths are a big deal if you're outside exercising. That shade means a lot because in Florida, it gets hot. It's always hot. It's 80 degrees right now. All right, so we are entering the Banyans at Broken Sound. And this is your entrance. Hello. Hello, how you doing? Good, I'm going to see my My name is Chris, my last name is Igo. Igo, you go, we all go. You'll never forget my last name. I made you laugh. I was trying to make you laugh, good job. Have a good day. Thank you. Well, um, 
I'm glad that we got in, but what I also know is um, she called the wrong person because the person who answered is not is not my friend. Um, all right. So I will loop around and then show you the uh, facilities or the amenities that are um, in this um, in this Banyan's uh, community. But um, they're nice, right? They're not as nice as what you would have over in the main community of Broken Sound. Uh, recently, they, um, they renovated the entire facility. So the entire uh, clubhouse and all the facilities around it are, are brand new, extremely nice, and uh, you're paying a premium for that, right? Okay. So we are driving, we are touring, and I want you to see what these homes look like so you get a feel for what exists here. And let me... Boom. Bumpity bump. All right. So let me just ensure that I am going to, <laughs> to the right place because uh, it would be less than optimal to do a video uh, showcasing a home if I, in fact, don't then show the home and... Uh, Okay, good. Nobody's behind me. Uh, making our way to where we want to go and eventually we'll get there hello all right full disclosure I'm completely lost but I'll figure it out. I think I was zigging when I should have been zagging. Um, all right, let's see. And I hope you're enjoying me uh, figure this out as we continue to drive at a uh, slow pace. That's what it was. I was zigging when I should have been zagging. All right, so. Oh. AC, too loud. All right, what I wanted to do was go the opposite way. So, I hope you've enjoyed my little uh, driving tour. And now let's make sure I'm still uh, recording. Oh no. Well, I've really screwed this up. Nope, I didn't. All right, let's see. Technology, don't fail me now. All right, so it's still recording. We're still good to go. And uh, I just made a left when I should have made a right. 
And that's what happens when I rely on memory. Okay, so we are going to continue to enjoy this neighborhood tour and check out the Banyans, which is what we're doing. All right. The Banyans of Broken Sound. So what's great about living in a community like this is, well, so let me just, before I go into what's great, although it should be obvious, you've got access to one of the most premier exclusive golf clubs, tennis clubs, um, facilities that exist and all of the uh, restaurants and social atmosphere that exists. All of that is fantastic. Um, and if you want that lifestyle, then this is going to be one of your more affordable options. Now let's talk about price because as I mentioned earlier, price in here uh, several years ago was incredibly challenged. And when my friend, as I mentioned, when he bought the house, it was not mandatory membership. Then they added that onto it and uh, it completely changed the dynamics of the, um, of the values in the neighborhood. Um, and so three years ago, uh, when we last went through this exercise of uh, checking his equity, the homes in here were selling for 90,000, 120,000. Um, you couldn't give them away. And since then, um, you know, that has changed radically, right? So now anything that comes on the market is sold very quickly. There is tremendous demand and, um, and the values have increased uh, right along with everything else. So <clears throat> in the past, I was not very uh, excited about getting a listing that would be in a, um... okay. We are rolling up right now. Two, four. I drove right past it. Two, four, seven, zero. And what's interesting, the reason I didn't recognize it is because they have painted, um, they've recently changed the, um, the color scheme in here. So the home to our right is the home that we are talking about. It is a lakefront home. It is gorgeous. And homes like this which again were distressed in that not when well, i say distressed that's the wrong word not distressed this isn't a distress sale by any means but we have a homeowner who um you know and every homeowner in here went through the same thing the the values in here when they put this mandatory membership um as part of the um as part of the uh the buy-in well then it, it instantly impacted the homes negatively right so um you know because now not everybody can buy it you know it went from you know you could buy a home it was affordable to now there's a seventy thousand dollar or an eighty thousand dollar or ninety thousand dollar mandatory membership uh fee not everybody can swing that not everybody wants to live that lifestyle um but since then um values have increased radically they've upgraded and improved not just this community which is again why i was a little bit confused as to which house it was um everything in here looks so much nicer and <clears throat> what um what we've since found is that there's tremendous demand so the values in here have gone from you know uh suboptimal to north of you know, they're, they, they're selling like hotcakes at 350, 400, 450, 500. They go all the way up to 800. Um, you couldn't give them away four years ago. And that's just the nature of the market that we're in. Now you can see there's a private pool, there's a private uh, playground, and that services this community. So if you were one of those owners that purchased prior to those changes, um, you don't have access to um, the golf course or, um, or any of the amenities that are over there. You only have access to this. Well, that's no longer true. Anybody who buys in here now will have access. They're going to pay for it, but you're going to have access to all those things. And that is in tremendous demand. So 
That being said, uh, for now, this is an off-market opportunity, and if you are interested in learning more about that or uh, want to purchase that home, we can make that happen prior to it going on the market. Once it goes on the market, I can promise you this thing's gonna sell instantly and there will be tremendous competition. So that's just the nature of the market the way it is. So that being said, I hope you've enjoyed my uh, my central Boca tour. I hope you found this content valuable. If you did, then please like, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, tell a friend. If there's any area that you would like me to cover that I haven't covered in the past, I'm happy to do that. Now, I will tell you to please check the playlist because I've done tons of content that exists on every community, um, certainly within Southeast Palm Beach County, also Broward, but I am everywhere, right? So I am committed to creating the most comprehensive, most immersive experience I can so that you don't have to spend as much time in your due diligence process. I wanna make it really easy for you. So when you are ready to make that move, you know exactly where to go. So if there's an area that you want me to cover, let me know, I'm happy to do that. If you've got any questions, any concerns, anything I can do to help serve or support you or your family or your business, then please reach out. Leave a comment down below, send me a phone call, text, email, doesn't matter, communicate, I'll get back to you. And uh, I'm actually gonna cover one more area here. Um, before we wrap this up, still Central Boca, we are on our right, we've got Royal Palm Polo, which is new construction. You got Fieldhouse Estates across the street, all of these areas, super exclusive, super pricey, very, very luxurious um, and tremendous demand. So obviously this is a Toll Brothers community. Uh, I don't believe the gate is open anymore. Um, yeah, it's not. There was a period of time where it was easy to access the um, this community. That is no longer the case. But why not drive by and do a U-turn and just showcase the exterior real quick just to give you an idea of some of the communities that are listed. Hey, I'm just going to make a U-turn. Thanks. But you can see, really nice, really exclusive, uh, very secure. They're still building in here. There was a time in the not uh, so distant, pa distant past where that was wide open and not manned, so it was easy to come in here. Um, but that's it for today, right? This was Central Boca. I hope you enjoyed the content, found it valuable. If you're even thinking about moving to or living in South Florida, you've got to give me a call, text, DM, send a carrier pigeon, a smoke signal by any means necessary because we've got your back when it comes to moving to or living in South Florida. And until next time, peace.